Hello and welcome to another update from uh, Brocco Lane TMD. I finally got round to doing some grass um, on my layout and it's getting a lot more complete now which I'll show you here. Static grass. I uh, built a bit of a hillside here just at the edge of the board so you can look down onto the uh, onto the um, good sidings there. I've also fitted a lamp which doesn't work yet but should do soon. There's also another mound there in between the tracks to split them up. I'm trying a couple of new buildings out there. I still don't know whether they're, they're going to stay or not, they keep changing. This is static grass, uh, varying shades put on with a static grass applicator. It's quite, uh, quite a nice effect. It's quite a long, long flock or static grass. Sorry, with some bob of uh, lighter green flock uh, scattered on top, fixed with hairspray. I've also painted the fences and lights and things around here in the blue colour. A forklift truck, some model scene cones scattered about. I've got my 153s out at the moment, which are a favourite of mine from Hornby. The fence is now completed all the way around and weathered. Might get further weathering. I also put some static grass in between the tracks there where those workmen are working. I think it looks a little bit better than it did. One or two speed restriction signs gone up recently. As you can see, I also use this depot for DMUs occasionally. Makes a change from the locomotives. The static grass I've used is from uh, Scenic's Railway Trees and uh, a decent bag. I've still got half of it left. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use all that, but uh, it's great stuff this. Uh, it's already blended. Um, lots of different colours in there, so I did add a little bit uh, of a lighter green which I've got as well, but it's come out really well. This is what you use to put it on with. I got this off eBay very cheaply. Um, you basically connect that to wire to one of the rails and then there's a button on the side and some batteries inside and you just scatter it across the layout like that and then vacuum up afterwards uh, it's really good, it makes the grass stand on end other things I've used is this um, long hair like material from Woodland Scenics which uh, I've put in clumps which you can see there, you used to cut it in half and uh, put it in wood glue and then uh, just wait for it to dry and it uh, you get these long grass type looks to it there's some paper flowers there which uh, you just fold up and put in they don't look great close up but at normal viewing angles they look good I think they're from Knock there's also uh, for a mossy appearance, as you see on the bank there, I've used just this old flock powder I had for, I've had for years. Don't know who it's from, to be honest. <laughs> but that's just sprinkled on top and on top of hairspray, and that's enough to hold it there. I've also got a lot of uh, tufted grass to put on. Um, these are ready stuck. They've just got a gel on the back. You just pick them up and put them where you want. I'm going to put some of those over the tracks, I think, in this area to make it look overgrown. But I need to weather the tracks first, I think. A lot of these materials are actually from Wargaming uh, websites. And the Wargaming guys have some really good scenic stuff available, which is different to Model Railway stuff. 
uh, check it out it's uh, it's really worth looking at still without a chassis but pretty much otherwise finished is uh, 37045 you remember the one I did before uh, which is the coal sector one I've changed the noses on it uh, to make it look like one of the earlier split nose models uh, it's got Tinsley plaque on it and it's also got black boxes on that end it, just, it got painted black boxes at one time and then other photographs you look at it wasn't so I've only done one end as you never see two at the same time I thought that was alright all there'll be a chassis coming for that soon I have ordered it so that'll be running soon I went to a model railway show recently picked up these um, lights which I've just put there, I've not actually wired them up yet there's one there and then there's one around the other side there so hopefully next time I'll have those working as well so really the next area I'm going to do is this where this chapel is and the uh, school those buildings I've just bought today, I've just placed them there and still deciding whether I like them or not. I like the chapel there from Hornby. Uh, the school tends to get a bit dwarfed by it though, so that's probably going to change. Um, yeah, it's a bit bare around that bit. Still deciding what to do. Well, that's all for now. I'm going to go and eat some Easter eggs now. Um, have a happy Easter. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.